My first favorite is Eralo. This is a great app. You can use it to download an electronic SIM card. Yes, eSIM technology is a thing. You no longer need to have a physical SIM card. You can use this app to search for your destination and then buy an electronic SIM card immediately. I still like to use a physical SIM card because it's usually cheaper, but I tried eSIM technology in Guatemala and France and it worked really well. So I like to keep it as a backup in case I get to my destination and I can't buy a SIM card immediately. It works really well. My second favorite is all trails. Every time I travel to a new destination, I like to go for a hike or two and all trails does a great job of showing you trails in your area in addition to giving you a lot of valuable information about the trail itself. So information about the elevation gain, the distance, how much time you will need to complete a specific hike. And you get to see reviews from other hikers who completed that specific trail recently, which can be super helpful just to have an idea about what to expect on the trail any wildlife encounters maybe, but all trails is great. It's got a lot of wonderful features and I like to always use it as a backup map when I'm hiking. And it's got two features that I love the most. The first one is when you have the pro version of all trails, you can even use it to track your progress on the trail. And the app will even notify you if you are off trail, which is super helpful if you are a beginner hiker. And then the second feature that I love the most is something called the lifeline. So lifeline is a feature where, that you can use to notify someone that you know about where you are going so a trusted person or a partner or family member you can use the lifeline to share with them the exact trail that you are going on and then the app once you have service it will send them a notification when you start it will send them notifications with your progress on the trail and then when you finish hiking and you hit done it will also send them another notification all of these notifications via text message to notify them that you are safe, you completed your hike. It's always important to let someone know where you're going, right? This one goes without saying, just to find your way around. But what I love the most is being able to download an offline map if you don't have access to the internet. If you're not familiar with how that looks like, it's very simple. All you have to do is go to Google Maps and then go to your Google profile on Google Maps, go to offline maps and then click create my own map and then just zoom on the region that you want to download an offline map of. And now once you have that map downloaded to your phone, you can use Google Maps to navigate in that region, even if you don't have access to the internet, which can come in really handy. Next one is Google Translate. Not only to make communication easy, but I love that Google Translate has great AI to help you understand signs that are not in English. So if you are traveling to a new country, hiking or even exploring around the city, you can't read the sign. How are we going to solve that problem? I'm going to show you how and we're going to test it right now. So with Google Translate app, as you can see right here, usually you would type a sentence, but then they have other ways of translating. So there is a transcribe conversation and camera. Camera is the one that I like using for signs mostly. So I would go to camera. Here I wrote two sentences in Arabic. So we're going to try if it's going to do a good job of translating. So you go to your camera and then you specify the language that you want to translate to and from. So I've got Arabic to English and then I'm just going to point with my camera to the sentence. And then I'm going to take a photo and it's telling me exactly the right translation. How much is this dress? What's your name? These are the two sentences that I wrote in here. It does a very decent job overall and it makes navigating your way around new city super easy. Google Translate, thumbs up. The weather channel. I like staying up to date with changes in the weather. This way I can pack and dress accordingly so that I don't have any surprises. WhatsApp. I can't ever imagine traveling without WhatsApp. I use WhatsApp on a daily basis. I love that you can send text messages, have video calls or phone calls over the internet for free. This is how I stay in touch with my family in Morocco. You will notice when you are traveling internationally that a lot of companies that you will coordinate with or guides or even drivers, they will automatically send you their WhatsApp information. This way, when you get to the airport and you're connected to the Wi-Fi, you can call them via WhatsApp. 
WhatsApp is great. And then finally, priority pass. I always have priority pass on my phone to find lounges in airports when I'm traveling. It's very simple. So I would go into priority pass app and then I would search for the airport that I'm traveling to. So I'm gonna say, for example, Istanbul, traveling to Istanbul. And then I will have to pick my terminal. So we'll go for international terminal. And then it's going to show me the lounges that are available for priority pass. So I've got IGA lounge and then there's another one called IGA sleep pod, which I'm honestly very excited to try at some point. But you get an idea about what lounges are accessible for you. If you're not familiar with Priority Pass, I have a full video talking about it in details, but basically Priority Pass is a program that allows you to access thousands of lounges around the world by having a subscription with Priority Pass or by using one of the universally known travel cards like the Chase Reserve or American Express card. Some of these travel cards will give you access to Priority Pass lounges. Again, I have more details on this video up here that you can check out. These are my favorite apps. I can't ever imagine traveling without them. If you have any suggestions or apps that you enjoy, leave them in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. My name is Habiba, this is Tracking Pals, and I will see you soon on a new adventure. Bye.